Well, welcome back to my channel. It's already lit. You already know the vibes. It's your girl Lena Bina, aka Slay Lena on the scene. Like, you're. Anyways, so first things first, you want to make sure you wash your hands. Because if you don't wash your hands, then you just dirty. You just filthy. I know I look mad different. I got my glasses on. These are my bum ass glasses, but it is what it is. Boom. So on today's menu, we are making yellow rice, barbecue salmon, some asparagus, and plantain. So for the rice, we're going to do one cup of rice. This is actually a lot. This is actually a lot. One cup of rice. Into the box. You see, you want to make sure you wash your rice because I don't know what the fuck this is. No. We're going to wash our rice. Wash the rice like you're washing your boom, 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 boom. Give it a second wash. If you don't know how to cook rice, then that's just bad. But one cup of rice, two cups of water. Yes, yeah, so I'm just gonna finish from here. So now I am just cutting up my red and green peppers for my rice. You can add olives to your rice for your yellow rice, but I just use green and red peppers. So right now I'm going to slice and dice these. You can dice it as small as you want. I actually did mine pretty, pretty big, but it, it was okay. Like, I don't mind it. So yeah, I'm just gonna dice them. Now to add the ingredients to the rice, you want to put some oil, you want to put some salt, usually that's what you normally put in your rice, oil and salt. To prevent it from sticking and to give it a little bit of flavor, I'm also going to add a little bit of black pepper, some ground turmeric, just to give it that yellow color. You can add curry if you don't have turmeric, but turmeric is better. And then you're going to add some chicken bouillon to give it that nice yellow, yellow rice flavor. That flavor. You're just going to add that to the pot and then you're going to throw in your red and green peppers. <laughs> Rice is cooking. I'm just gonna fry my plantains, and I'm using some canola oil. I love plantains. Like, oh my god! Like, if I could turn into a plantain, I would. So right now, I'm going to cut these plantains. I'm not gonna cut it the traditional way, like in a slant. I'm just gonna cut them like in half. I don't know, like. I like them better like that, like restaurant style. Um, my plantains came out jacked up, but it's alright. It's alright. They were still good. But you can cut your plantains any way you like. You want to make sure you check in your rice. Make sure that rice is on medium heat. You don't want to turn that shit up too high because the bottom of your pot will burn. And nobody likes burnt rice. So right now I'm just stirring everything together. Stir, stir, stir. And then I'm just going to put the cover back on. I'm going to check on that periodically. Right now I'm just testing to see if my oil is hot. I'm going to dip my plant like a little bit in. Maybe like a few inches in there. And as you can see it wasn't hot. But now when you see it sizzling like that shit. You know it's hot. So right now I'm just dumping my plant up in there. I'm going to find that bad boy. Ugh. And that shit going to come out. 
Bolton. I was gonna do barbecue sauce, but I was like, you know what, forget it. So I'm gonna mix these two barbecue sauces, and one is like a hickory smoke, and the other is like a brown sugar, brown sugar, something like that. I'm gonna put those, some spicy brown mustard, a little bit of my Walker Wood jerk seasoning, um, some ketchup, and a little bit of comfort water. And I'm just gonna mix it up. I like my jerk seasoning, I'm not jerk seasoning, my sauce to be like a little bit more of the water inside. I don't like it very thick. That's just my preference. You can make it thick, you can leave out the water, whatever you want, but I just added a little bit of water so it wouldn't be as thick. periodically check on our rice and it's almost there we just want to let that simmer a little bit put it on low now and just let that steam you want to make sure you test your seasonings as you go i'm just going to test that it was actually pretty freaking good and um yeah i'm going to move my rice to the back burner and next we're going to start with the fish i'm going to use this cast iron pan and then i'm going to throw a little bit of oil in that pan and then i'm going to sear my salmon now for our plantains, we want to make sure they are golden brown. And what I'm doing is just flipping them over. We want to make sure that um that well, I like mine's brown. Some people like it light, but I like mine's preferably brown. And I'm just gonna flip that over. Be careful, guys, because this shit will pop you. If you have any excess water, water and oil doesn't mix, so make sure your hands are dry from whatever you was doing to prevent any type of splatter. And then after that, I'm just gonna put in a bowl with some paper towel just to soak up that extra oil. side for about a good three to five minutes and then we're gonna pop that sucker into the oven. Ooh, look at that guys. It's looking amazing. Amazing. It's looking very fluffy and I'm just gonna take a fork and just flip it out. Um but yeah it came out pretty good. some saute asparagus I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of garlic powder a little bit of black pepper and a little bit of salt and I'm just going to rub that in some people like to season it while it's in the pot it doesn't matter you can season it in the pot out of the pot I like to season it before I put it into the pot so that way I will have to go back and you know use the pot spoon and try to season it while it's inside the pot which makes which just makes life complicated so yeah I'm just going to season it before I throw it inside of the uh, inside of the pot for the salmon, I'm just going to brush that with um, the same jerk seasoning barbecue sauce that you see me use earlier. And we're just going to coat that, flip it over, coat the other side, and then pop that stuff into the oven for like a good 5 to 7 minutes each side. It's already cooked, so you don't want to overcook it, but I like my salmon well done. I like my salmon well done. And, um, yeah. So after we cook that, we're going to put it in the oven, take it out, it's going to be a little bit dry, and then we're going to coat it one more time. For the asparagus, I'm just taking some leftover planting oil, throwing that in another pot, and then I'm going to let that asparagus cook up. 
and then I'm gonna throw the lid on top of that and just let it, you know. If you want your asparagus to look a little bit more charcoal, not charcoal, like that, give it that nice charcoal taste or give it like a little bit of not burnt, the well done taste when you turn the fire up really, really hot and keep it covered. That completes everything. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you guys like, comment, share, subscribe. Anything else you want me to, you know, um, any other recipes, leave them below. Remember, I'm a pescatarian now, so I only eat seafood. So, we know the vibes this way. Um, yep, thank you for watching. There you have it. Thank you for tuning into Slay's Kitchen. It was. It was lit. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment below. Subscribe. Do all that good shit. See y'all in the next video. I'm recording the video, so you got. Hello, I'm recording the video, so you got to be quiet. Huh? I'm recording the video, so you have to be quiet. Recording who? A video, so you have to be quiet. Oh, damn video. Are you cooking up food? Yes. Shit. Fuck up, Now you're shut. I don't know what you want to do. Why do you decide on one thing what you want to be? A beautician, a freaking makeup artist, or now you want to be a damn chef? Oh, no. An exercise Shut up! Oh, That's God. next. Hello. Oh, I'm crazy. <laughs>